All right, real quick, I just want to show the uh, <clears throat> evolution of the ends. Um, both of these uh, five millimeter shock shafts are the R to R outcast shafts. These are not M2C shafts. These are the M2C. Uh, this is an M2C shaft. Anyway, this is the uh, perch, and that's kind of what was starting to happen. This would bend, this would bend. Uh, M2C came out with their, <clears throat> their own five millimeter M2C shafts with these ends that fit the R2R perch, which um, I don't know about the shafts. I never used them. So all four of my shafts are still new. I'm probably either going to sell them or give them away, whatever. But these, these were great, man. So I'll probably either sell them or give them away. I don't know. Um, <clears throat> then EXB came out with this, which is a different perch and better uh, shock right end, but they still break. Um, there's, their uh, shafts are seven millimeter also. Um, I haven't had any bend yet, but I'm going to be moving to these as well, even though this one is from my R to R. Um, this is how the new perch or the new uh, shock rod end fits in the perch. That screw right there is what keeps it in. It acts as if it's that thing. Works just, just, just fine. Um, <clears throat> anyway, we'll move over to here. And uh, I already threw away my, uh, that black piece. I don't know what they call that piece. Uh, I'm sure somebody, somebody knows or I'll uh, look it up and find out what the name is. Uh, so I already took that off. The best way for me to take that, that off was a needle nose pliers. I just stuck the two ends in for the R2R version that is and pinch it and pull it off. Um, anyway, but I'd take my head off with a, I don't know, a hex driver. I stick a hex driver in here to just loosen it and tighten it. Then I'm going to push this all the way up. Once I get all of my uh, shock oil out, I'm going to get a seven millimeter uh, nut driver. I'm gonna uh, hold this right here with a wrench. Take my nut driver, take that nut off. I'm gonna save that nut. I'm gonna save this and I'm gonna save this. <clears throat> Piston and the washer uh, and the shock body. I'm gonna clean this real well um, and I'll be getting it. All right, let's put all this stuff aside and uh, we'll quickly put this together. I already have the shock already busted down, as you can see. All right, this is what comes in the kit, M2C 3598. I'm an Outcast EXB 8S front or rear seven millimeter ISB shock kit. And it comes with this drill bit. You get two seven millimeter shafts. Um, you get these two, I don't know what they call, put them up there, two of these to replace the uh, stock black ones, two shock pistons, uh, a total of three O-rings, six screws, three for each, two EXB rod ends, and these the spacer here. And you have in order to do this for the R to R version, you have to have the you have to buy the uh, purchase. And if you're going to do this for the R to R version, and you don't want to buy those purchase. You want to use the old purchase, then you'll be using the the uh, smaller shock shafts and the smaller rod ends. Anyway, um, what they do, uh, Avery and Layla Looper, they do a great job. I figured if somebody doesn't find what they got going on over there, I know that they did a video on this, but man, it's just so easy, man. And I think uh, if you love the Outcast, if you love the truck then uh this is something that you need to think about doing honestly um all right so we're going to take this uh this piece we're going to put in an o-ring put in the spacer we just uh lubed up all our uh, o-rings put in another o-ring we're going to take the piston and this little uh, nub right here, see how that one side's flat, one side has this little nub, that nub's gonna go down like that. Um, he's got three screws here. 
And what you're gonna do is just get them started. I tell you, just get them started. <clears throat> Line it up. And just get started. Start one. Do another. So yeah, just O-ring, spacer, O-ring, shock piston with the nub down. This is a 1.5 millimeter hex driver. And I'm just starting all three of the holes. Yeah, let's get them started and I'll tighten it all. Oh. All right. Oh, I forgot to um, lube up one of my shock shaft also. Put a little oil on the shock shaft. All right, there we go. <clears throat> All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and stick our shock shaft through. Like that. All right, we're gonna start to tighten it down. And you should definitely, I mean, honestly, be checking out Avery's video and M2C Racing. And go subscribe to them, man, because they're doing awesome things with this truck, man. And a lot of other trucks, too. I'm buying stuff from my Italian also. All right, not too tight. Just a, just a little re resistance. Um, yeah, man, good to go. I'm going to go ahead and screw this bad boy on there for now. Do you have to right now? No, I'm going to. And we're going to take our shock body. Oh, we put our, o our black O-ring on over here. Like this. Roll it on down to there. Just like that. Take our shock body. Make sure it's clean. You got to remember to go ahead and put on your washer that you saved. Put that washer on first. And you're going to take your piston, your shock piston. Make sure no dirt on it, nice and clean. Sand. Put that over the washer. And then you're gonna put this nut, this seven millimeter nut, over the top. And I just take my um, crescent wrench and hold it here. And then I take my seven millimeter nut driver Right there perfect now that's done that's in now we go ahead and put this in make sure you go back a little bit and then forward to make sure you're not gonna uh, cross thread make sure you have your o-ring on there and it's lubed up and you see what I'm doing I'm holding I take a pair of vice grips with the shock body and then I'll go back to this uh, Press a wrench, just kind of go out a little bit, like about there. Grab right here. Tighten. And not too tight, man. I don't, I don't go too tight. Just, just nice and snug. There we go. Perfect. Release those vice grips. And there you go, man. Sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> Mosquito, man. Damn. So, yeah, we're ready for oil. Let the perch sit on top of the spring like that. That way it can hold that up like that. That's how I kind of hold my shock. Um, <clears throat> anyway, man, I just wanted to show you the uh, how quick it is, man. It really is. It's, uh, and like I said, at M2C Racing, um, I don't know, the channel wasn't easy for me to find. Uh, I had someone tell me about MTC Racing, but if you love the Outcast, you love the Creighton 8S, or the 6S, the Italian, a lot of, most of mostly Armor rigs, man. Their Armor uh, lineup of products is, is pretty sweet, man. Um, have a good one, everybody. Just wanted to do a quick video. 
and show that. Peace out.